Hi, so today I wanted to talk to you about um, food and emotions. Um, tomorrow I start a water fast. <laughs> and it's funny because um, when you tell people you're doing a water fast, they go, oh, all sorts of crazy reactions. Some people like, think they're really brave, some people think they're really stupid. Most people think, I don't really think I could do that. And, um, you know, the what, reason that I'm doing it is for is to change the frequency of that the body's vibrating at actually. When you stop putting food in, 80% um, of your daily energy goes on digesting your food. So if you think for the next five days, all of that energy is given back to the body to heal all the aches and pains and fix anything that needs to get back into balance. Um, and the last time it felt amazing, and that's really why I'm doing it. That's usually why we do anything, is because of how it makes us feel. Now, don't get me wrong, there are times where you you feel hungry, you feel that kind of empty gurgling in your stomach. And uh, what I do for that is just hot tea. Um, and I don't mean good old British sexy tea, I mean like uh, lemon and ginger and uh, mint and water. And just lots and lots of that. That really just helps kind of soothe that emptiness feeling. But What's really important is, is how you do things. And I think it's just how you um, You know, in the Buddhist community, they call it mindfulness. Um, so being mindful about what it is you're putting in the body and how you're eating it. Because obviously what I teach is how to change how you feel and change the emotion, the feeling that's in the body. Which quite literally means the level of contraction or expansion in the cells. Because when you have a negative feeling or emotion, the cells contract. But also, you're, most of us are carrying our stress in the digestive system. It gets really, really tight. And you'll get a knot there. So even if you're putting in really, really good quality foods, if you're really stressed and anxious and bitter and angry <laughs> and all these negative feelings that we can, that we can feel, well, the body can't extract what it needs from the food the same way and it, it struggles much, much more to... Um, to digest it. So it's really, really important no matter what you're doing, how you're feeling when you're doing it. And this again is one of the, the things when you're going back to the candida uh, awareness. You know, make no mistake, ch making changes to your diet can be hugely stressful and that's why so many of us fail um, over and over again because we don't understand how change works. Of course we like to stay in our comfort zone, of course we like to do the things that we know and the things that make us feel good and the things that, that we've always done because that's the program that the way the, the subconscious mind works. So when you're trying to make change, you've got two conflicting minds and then you can beat yourself up about, I don't have any willpower, why do I keep doing this? And that causes all this negative <laughs> contraction in the body, the stress, and then of course you end up putting in the things that just give you that instant um, gratification just for a moment or two and then of course the feelings all come back again. So with EFT and with the Sedona method and various other techniques that we use, we can really change the habits that are in the sub subconscious mind and we can let them go so that this process of getting the two minds into alignment isn't a total trauma and struggle every single day. And you know, the best advice you can have when you're, if you're um, having to eliminate sugar and grains from the diet is just do it one day at a time. Get one day, it's like the 12-step program, just do one day. And then the next day, just do one day. And then, and tick it off. You know, if for 28 days, you can take that stuff out of your diet. Your body is just going to transform in, with its energy levels. And, you know, if you had to go and get some horrible treatment at the hospital, chemotherapy or radiation, which a lot of people are having to get now, um, and, it, you know, a lot of it can be prevented if you just have the willpower and the techniques and the tools and the support to just cleanse the diet and then of course once your energy comes up and once you realise that you can do it you can really get on top of it and make these changes permanent make these new habits the new healthy habits put them into the subconscious repeat them enough so that you do that without thinking without stress and without fear and without self-loathing because that's the other thing that happens we're going to have a very negative relationship with the body because what we put in the body will store all around different areas um, depending on our body shape and our age um, and then we start to look at that part and we 
hate it. <laughs> so, of course, we put the focus and attention on what we hate, and then it's the exponential with the, the weight can go on. And it's all been driven often by what's happening in the gut. And, you know, it's just a total lack of understanding, a lack of education of what the body's saying to you. So, if you are struggling with your weight, um, if you are interested in fasting, um, drop me a, a private message and I can, I'll help you and support you um, as much as I can. There's nothing worse than not feeling comfortable in your own body. Um, there's nothing worse than feeling overweight. You know when you put on your clothes, you look in the mirror, it, it doesn't you don't look like what you see. And maybe people tell you because people are so kind, you put on weight when you're perfectly aware um, that you're not looking the way you would like to. But look, the way you look is one thing, but for me it's what's much more important the way you feel. How are you feeling about yourself? Are you happy? Are you joyful? Is your body bouncing with energy? Um, because what is the driver? For me, it was never weight. I could never make changes because I didn't probably didn't really care about it as, as much as maybe I should have. But for me, it was the fatigue. I just like, feeling fatigued, and then the body starting to get achy, and I knew it was getting sick. Um, that was the driver for me. So you have to find your thing. Why would you do this? What would be the most incredible? Um, thing that you could do when your body is <laughs> radiant, vibrant and full of vitality um, because that's what you need to keep your eye on and then really releasing all the negative emotional programs and the comfort um, if, you, if you think if you move country, like when you move to a new country it's different, um, the people are different, the food's different the, the habits, the routine is different you know, so it takes a bit of time to get used to that because um, it's different, <laughs> that's all. So you just have to get used to it. You just, and slowly but surely, just, you know that when you move to a new country, just, you know, it'll feel a bit strange maybe for a few months, maybe even for longer than that. But as long as you just, you know, be gentle with yourself and kind and understand and know that you'll get used to it. And that's the same with a new eating regime. Because the bottom line is, you, we all need to clean up our diets because people are getting sick now and we can stop a lot of that. So just be gentle and kind to yourself, to yourselves. Talk about what you want. Talk about healing. Talk about being vibrant and slim and toned. Talk about what you want and not about what you need. And have a wonderful day. Ciao.